Let's have a look at the interface in Video Studio Pro X7. Right on my left hand side I have my preview window. Here I can preview my videos before I bring them into my project. On the right hand side I have my library. This is where I store all my videos and photos and music files. In the center I have more options. This is my instant project. In case I don't know where to start, not to worry. I can choose one of these instant projects and I can start immediately editing. I have my transitions over here. If I wish to make a transition from one clip to the next, I have a large library of transitions to choose from. Same with my text track. I can then use animated text. Here's a nice library and good collection of text choices. Okay, this is all my backgrounds, frames and objects. In version X7, I now have color pattern to choose from and background. And this is a new feature within version seven. These are all my FX filters. So all my FX filters are also placed in a library. As you can see, I have a very large selection of FX filters and them a very powerful motion tracking option. Let's move on. Underneath here, this is where all my tracks are. Main track at the top, overlay track, a text track, audio track, and a music track. I can always add more tracks. Right click, track manager. As you can see, I now have options of adding up to 20 more tracks. And I can have three music tracks. So that is also handy for large projects. What do we have here up top is three tabs. This is my capture tab. Here I can have options of screen capture, stop motion, import from a digital media or quick scan. Or if I plug in my camcorder, I can import the video files directly from the camcorder into Video Studio. And my last tab is my share tab. Here I have options of how I wish to output my project. I can do directly to the internet, YouTube, Facebook, Flickr and Vimeo. I can share it on my mobile device, burn a DVD or I'm making a 3D movie. Last but not least, I will now have a new option. If I go into my tools, I have fast flick. I can also launch fast flick from an icon placed to my desktop. And this is a nice little wizard to get you started if you've never used an editing software or you want to make a quick slideshow and update it to your favorite social media.